Hello boys and girls, welcome back after two weeks holidays. Let's continue our lesson with the topic of time. Today, we are going to learn on how to count the duration in days and hours. What is duration? Apa itu duration? In BM, we call it as tempo masa. Duration is the length of time that something lasts. Maksudnya, uh, panjang masa yang diambil untuk sesuatu perkara. Panjang masa, tempo masa. For example, our maths class start at 8 a.m. and ends at 9 a.m. So, the duration is one hour. Sebagai contoh, kelas matematik mula 8 a.m. 8 a.m. ialah 8 pagi and end bertamat pada pukul 9 pagi. So, the duration is one hour. Satu jam. Another example, Faris attended a camping from Friday to Sunday. Uh, Faris menghadiri satu uh, camping dari Jumaat hingga Ahad. So, the duration of the camping is 3 days. Tempo masa 3 hari. 3 days. To calculate duration, you must identify the start time and end time. Kamu kena kenal pasti dulu start time masa mula and end time masa tamat. Let's look at this example. Calculate the duration of the study tour. Look at the first picture. It is 10.50 in the morning. We are going to start our tours in this animal farm. So look look at this watch. Tengok jam tangan ni. Look at the date. Date is showing 25th of July 2021. The time is 10.50 a.m. Pagi. Tarikh pada 25 Julai. Alright, look at second picture. Our tour is over. Sudah tamat. We are going back together by bus. So look at this watch. The watch is showing 27 of July 2021 and the time is 12:50 p.m. p.m. Uh, selepas tengah hari, selepas pukul 12 tengah hari kita akan guna pm all right now first you must identify the start time and end time look at this two watch so which is the start time masa mulanya yang mana satu all right is this this is the start time and this is the end time. So, when we want to calculate the duration, we use number line. Kita akan guna number line. First, you draw a line. Lukiskan satu garisan. Okay. And then, you write down the start time on the left side. Tuliskan start time-nya di sebelah kiri. Alright. Start time is 25th 
July 2021 Time is 10.50 AM Okay, dari Dari jam tangan yang pertama Saya ambil tarikh dan masa After that You write down the end time Tuliskan end time daripada jam tangan yang kedua You write the day, the date and time Okay Now start calculate like this One day later Okay, sehari selepas itu So the date will change to 26 Tarihnya akan bertukar dari 25th kepada 26th And the time remain the same Masa akan, masanya tetap sama, tak berubah 10.50am Ini bermaksud sehari Another one day So from 26 will change to 27 Tarikh akan berubah sehari 27 Time masih sama Masanya masih sama So now compare our end time Tengok end time kita 27 July Okay Sudah pada hari yang sama So means that Means that from this one to this one The answer is in hours Bukan lagi days Okay, jawapan di sini adalah kita kena kira dalam hours We have to count in hours So now From 10.50 to 11.50 is how many hours? One hour, right? Satu jam And then from 11.50 to 12.50 Another one hour So all together is two hours And, and finally, you have to combine the answer in Days and hours like this. The duration of the study tour is two days, two hours. Next example calculate the duration in days and hours from 1830 hours Tuesday to 0 to 30 hours. On Saturday 18.30 is 6.30 p.m. Pukul 6.30 p.m. Petang 0 to 30 hours is 2.30 a.m. Pukul 2.30 tengah malam Pagi Okay, first you need to identify the start time and end time 18.30 hours Tuesday is the start time because of this word perkataan from and then 0 to 30 hours Saturday is our end time next draw a line after that Write the start time and then write the end time on the right side. Then let's start to calculate. One day later, Tuesday will be Wednesday and the time still same, 18.30 hours. And then from Wednesday, this is one day, from Wednesday to Thursday, time remain the same, 18.30 hours, masa tetap sama, hari saja berubah. So, another one day. Okay, sekarang tengok end time kita nak Saturday. So, Thursday belum sampai lagi. So, another one day. From Thursday will change to Friday 
1830 hours. Okay, now, kalau one day lagi, kalau one day lagi, Friday akan jadi Saturday. And then, time dia akan jadi 1830 kan? Kalau one day. If one day. Okay, now I'm talking if one day. Kalau one day, hari berubah. Friday jadi Saturday. And then, masa dia 1830. Okay. Sekarang banding dua masa ni, 1830 already more than 0 to 30. Okay, sudah lebih. So, bolehkah sini saya letak one day? Can I write one day here? Of course cannot, right? Because already more than 0 to 30. So, means that, alright, means that for this one, the answer is in hours, not in day. Jawapannya dalam hours, bukan dalam days lagi. Okay? So now, we need to calculate how many hours from 1830s Friday to 0 to 30 Saturday. Yang ini petang. Yang ini Saturday ni pagi. Pukul 2.30 pagi. Yang ini pukul 6.30 petang Jumaat. So look at this one. Okay. Start from 1830. To 1930 is one hour. 1930 to 2030 is one hour. 2030 to 2130, another one hour. 2130 to 2230, one hour. 2230 to 2330, one hour. Okay, now 2330, pukul sebelas tiga puluh. Malam, okay, to 0030, ini pukul 12.30 tengah malam, sudah masuk hari Saturday, sudah masuk hari Sabtu. So, another one hour. So, from 0030 to 1.30, ini Saturday, okay, one hour, and then 0130 to 2.30 is Another one hour. Ini Saturday. Dari sini, pukul 12.30 malam sudah masuk hari Saturday. So, all together, all together, how many hours? You have to count lah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it's 8 hours. And finally, You combine the answer in days and hours. The answer is 3 days, 8 hours. Look at this example. Start climbing on 20th May 2021 at 10 a.m. Pukul 10 a.m. Pagi. Finish climbing on 23rd May 2021 at 1 p.m. Alright, so which is the start time? Very clear. Start climbing. Nampak perkataan start. Maksudnya ini adalah start time. Okay, finish means end. Sudah habis. So this is the end time. Masa tamat. So same, we have to use number line, draw a line, and then you write the start time, and then another one end time. Masa tamat. Okay. So twentieth, dua puluh Mei. One day later, dia akan bertukar kepada twenty first Mei. Masa sama. Another one day, 21st will become 22nd May. The time, same. 
10 a.m. All right. 22nd, another one day will become 23rd May and then time 10 a.m. Now, look at the date. 23rd and 23rd sudah pada hari yang sama. So, for the following, the answer is in hours, not in days. Untuk sini, hari yang sama, kita kena kira jawapannya dalam hours. Okay, so, from 10, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. One hour. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tengah hari. Pukul 12 tengah hari. is one hour. From 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Another one hour. So, all together is one, two, three. All together is three hours. And finally, you combine the answer. So, it will be 3 days, 3 hours. Let's try to do some exercise to practice the skill. So, you try to answer this question in your exercise book. There are only 4 questions. Remember, first Please identify the start time and end time. After that, you draw a number line and then write the start time on the left side and write the end time on the right side and then you start to calculate. Remember, one day, if one day, the duration for one day means that the date will change. Tare akan berubah. Masa tetap sama untuk satu hari. Happy trying!